Uh, good morning, uh, students. Uh, my name is Nito. I'm assistant professor of food tech department. Today, I'm going to discuss about uh, the dry and wet milling of corn. Uh, this is one of the topic of milling technology. In the first slide, uh, you can see that the structure and the composition of corn. Uh, you can see here uh, the corn having meaning majorly uh, three parts are uh, the pericarp, the endosperm, and the germ. Uh, the major, the mature uh, corn is composed of the four major parts, uh, the endosperm, germ, pericarp tip and cap. Uh, the component of yellow tank corn, his starch is 61%, corn oil is 3.8% and protein is 8.0%, fiber 11.2% and moisture 16%. Uh, first one is the dry milling process. The dry milling process is consists of the following steps. Uh, cleaning, conditioning, uh, de-germing, drying, and cooling, grading, and the grinding process. Okay, let's see the different process. Uh, first one is the cleaning process. When the corn is received at the mill, after the cultivation process, it is cleaned by both dry and wet process. Uh, the cleaning steps are sieving, separating particle by shape and density, and removing ferromagnetic metals by permanent magnets. Because everyone know that uh, the corn uh, is cultivated from NA land, maybe there is a presence of NA foreign particles uh, like uh, metals uh, and other glass pieces. So we have to remove that before it's going to conditioning process. In conditioning process, the cleaned corn is conditioned, uh, which basically means that water is added and the moisture is allowed to equilibrate within the kernels. The moisture content of the corn after the conditioning process is 21%. The step process is degermination. Uh, the purpose of degerming is to removal of the hull, tip cap, and the germ and leave the endosperm into large grids. In a degermination process, removing in the germ from the cone kernels. And after that uh, degermination process, we move to drying process. The degermal product are to be dried 15 to 18 percentage. In the conditioning proce uh, process, what is the uh, moisture content of the cone? 21 percentage. And after the drying, what happened? The moisture content is reduced to 15 to 18 percentage. And then this proper grinding, then it is uh, ready for the proper grinding and sifting. And the drying is performed by the conventional rotary stream tube dyers. Then the cooling process, the counter flow or close flow rotary cooler can be used for cooling the dried products. Of course, after the drying process, maybe there is any heat um, in the temperature is increased, so we have to cool the product. And after that, they're going for any grading and milling process. Okay, the next step is the grading and the recovery of various primary product is the next step. Uh, the through stock is sifted or classified by particle size and enters into conventional long direction system having the function of removing bran and germ while releasing a maximum amount of clean large degrees. In the grading process also removing in the remaining uh, the bran content or the remaining germ that is presenting in the corn kernels. And the milling process is the milling operation consisting of the steps of grinding, sifting, classifying, purifying and aspirating. In some uh, case, uh, final dry drying, uh, the normal flow uh, is through brake rolls and then to sifter. Okay, in a brake roll is the grinding of the cone, then going to in a sifter for the sieving process. And the brake rolls are followed by a reduction roll, and which is the endosperm to the desired particle size. In the milling process, uh, they also uh, supply the particles based on their size. And the next one is the wet milling process. Uh, you can see here the steps of the wet milling process. The uh, first is cone is collecting, uh, collecting from the um, lands or the cultivation centers, and after that, the cone cleaner, and then steep tanks, and then going to germ separator for the rem uh, removal of any germ, and the grind mills, and the washing screens, the washing screens for removing of the bran, and the centrifugal separator for the separating of the gluten from the and then the starch washing hydro cone series which is removing any starch from the uh, cone then the, remo the removal of the cone that is used for in a value addition and the cleaning process uh, everyone uh, know that uh, as we already told that uh, what is the cleaning process done in uh, the dry milling process the same process is uh, here also do that that is the removal of any foreign particles or the shell of the cone and here is the steeping process 
okay dry milling process what we said at the conditioning process after cleaning process they go for conditioning but here after cleaning process they go for steeping process the cone is soaked in water and called steep water at 50 degrees celsius for between uh, 20 and 30 hours during which time it double the size and the sulfur dioxide here also added for the steep water for what for removing of a microbial growth and as the corn swells and soften the mildly acidic steep water start to loosen the gluten bond and with the corn and to release the starch okay then corn is after that is go through milling process in the milling and separation process the corn is coarsely milled in the cracking mills to separate the germ from the rest of the components okay first the corn is going to in a cracking mills okay the coarsely milled corn because we have to remove the germ from the corn and the cone flows through the germ separator to separate the that separating germ cone germs and the cone germ which containing about 85 percentage of the corn oil the removed germ is used for what the preparation of a corn oil and the removed from the slurry and washed and is then dried and sold for the processing of recover the oiling corn oiling uh, we can all know we as we all know that uh, the corn oils are available in our market okay after the dry and wet milling process uh, the corn germ is used for in a preparation of corn oil. and the fine grinding and screening after the fine grinding which release the starch and gluten from the fiber the slurry flow over the fix the concave screen which catch the fiber but allow the starch and gluten to pass through and the starch gluten suspension is sent to the starch separator okay after the fine grinding and screening process the starch gluten suspension is passed through in a starch separator the collected fiber is dried for using in animal field or cattle feed the separating starch and gluten after uh, separating of starch and gluten what we do okay what they do in an industry the starch gluten suspension passes through a centrifuge and where the gluten and which is less dense than starch is easily spun out and the gluten is dried and used in animal feeds the starch which still has a small percentage of protein remaining is washed to remove the last traces of the protein maybe there is presence of any uh, traces amount of protein and it leaves 99 percentage of a pure starch and the starch can either be dried or sold as a corn starch or it can be modified turned into other products or other value added product like corn sweeteners, corn syrup and destrose and fructose. Okay, thank you. I hope uh, all of you understand the dry and the wet milling process. Thank you guys.